Steve, the Congressman Poliquin spent the day greeting voters at the Cross Insurance Center. He's been there all day long and he's been nonstop for the past couple of days leading up to this election because he knows that this race is going to be close. In fact, the latest polls showing that it's really a virtual tie right now between him and uh, Democrat Emily Kane. Of course, Poliquin criticizes his opponent for having no experience creating jobs. He tells supporters that he will protect Social Security, protect seniors and create jobs in the 2nd Congressional District. Now, here's what he said about his efforts in the final days leading up to today. Meeting as many voters as I possibly can. We need to make sure that everybody goes to the poll and votes for Bruce Poliquin for Congress because we need to protect our seniors and our veterans and we need to create more jobs. And this is the most expensive congressional race in Maine state history. Poliquin and Kane, the race, 16 million spent to influence its outcome. And now covering Emily Kane right down the road for me here in Bangor, we want to send it out to my colleague Morgan Sturdivant. Hey, Morgan. Hey there, Katie. You know, exciting place here right now in Bangor. Very busy place here in my hometown. I've, I've voted here before. You know, it's exciting to be here to see this race between Emily Kane and Bruce Poliquin. They are actually behind me here. I did speak with an election official just a few minutes ago who said that they were very busy, um, especially with new voter registration, which is, you know, that's definitely what Kane and Poliquin both want to hear. So they're both here tonight talking with, po with voters before they both head off to the their uh, election headquarters to watch the results tonight. As Katie said, it looking very close at this point. We did speak with Emily uh, as she got back here today from Lewiston on her thoughts right now. I'm just so excited by the turnout. There have been so many people coming out to vote, some for the very first time, who are enthusiastic. I'm proud to be asking for their vote. I'm proud to earn such broad support from all parts of the state and from people who are voting for every one of the candidates for president. And uh, Kane told us earlier this is a big day for her as a woman uh, as well, running in the election today, taking pictures with mothers and daughters earlier this afternoon. We will continue to follow Kane throughout the night. Live in Bangor right now, Morgan Sturdivant, WTW News 8.